90 minutes to eight. A month ago, 73-year-old Arthur Jones went on holiday to Crete and he never came back. The father of four and grandfather of eight disappeared from his hotel room just two days into a walking holiday and he hasn't been seen since. It looks like a Greek paradise, but for Arthur Jones, it was less than idyllic. It's the last place he was seen before disappearing a month ago. An experienced trail walker and mountaineer, his equipment was found in his room, leaving Greek police officials with very little to help their search. Now Arthur's family have taken up the cause with a social media campaign supported the world over. The hashtag FindArthur has been seen in Dubai, the Philippines and Melbourne, Australia. They've raised more than £20,000 to assist in the search. But despite the overwhelming support, the only thing the family of Arthur Jones wants is their father and grandfather safely back home. Well, Arthur's son, Jeff, joins us this morning. Jeff, thanks for coming in Thank this morning. Much. So uh, tell us a little bit about your father's last movements and what you know. Well, what we know, he'd been on the island two days. He'd been to places, shops, um, a few places of interest. We know he was seen in a hotel Wednesday night, went to bed. Next morning, he's been seen leaving his room at 9 o'clock, thereabouts, and hasn't been seen since, basically, um, disappeared. He's very fit and healthy. Very fit, old. very experienced, goes on these type of holidays once or twice a year. It's, um, it's his hobby since he's mm. retired, if you like. And the shock for you is that you, you didn't know what had happened until he didn't come home. No. Um, you, he sent everyone postcards. We thought he was having a good time. Um, there was airstrikes that week, so we thought he might have been delayed. We went to his flat, he wasn't there. We phoned his travel agent and found out he was actually officially missing in Greece, mm. which was a massive shock. Yeah, of course. Did he have a mobile phone? Had a mobile phone. Did he try um, Obviously, yeah. you know, the uh, British police, the Greek police have tried, but... It's switched off. It's switched off. And what about the support you're getting from Greek police, from the British authorities? I mean, I, I was in holiday in Crete actually a couple of weeks ago, and I know that the terrain there, it's, it's mountainous, you know, it can be quite remote as well, can't it's it? It's very remote. I think, um, you know, a lot of the family members have been out there, and I think we were all a bit stunned by, you know, the type of landscape. The, the terrain, as you say, was very rough. It's not fields like we have here. Mm. There's a lot of plantations a lot of olive grove, so it's hard to get in between, or it's hard, it's very easy to get disorientated. So, if, I mean, we're, we're, we're sitting here now in London, what would you like to say to anybody who may have been to Crete or may have seen... Uh, well, Father? that's the key, really. At the moment, we haven't got any witness who's come forward. You know, a lot of people will have returned home to the UK in the time he's been on holiday and reported missing. Someone might have sat next to him on the bus on the Tuesday and Wednesday, told him his plans, they might have met him in one of these tourist attractions mm. he's been. Can we have a look at that picture again, Simon? Can we just put um, Arthur up so we can see? So if anybody has seen um, Jeff's father, that's him there. Um, if he, maybe that rings a bell, he might have been out on holiday, like you say. And you've got, um, you've got a campaign you're running as well on Twitter. Yeah, the campaign is Find Arthur, hashtag Find Arthur. That is going all around the world at the moment. Um, if people can get onto that and keep highlighting it, you just never know there could be that one crucial person somewhere we haven't managed to mm. come across and yeah. could have the missing link. They could have that vital piece of information, couldn't they? Well, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you very to much. Us. And look, fingers crossed, we really hope thank that you. he's found safe and well. Thank you. Thank you.